Have you ever wanted to know more about our legless friends? No, not legless and friends. The slithering serpents are not bad, like many people crack them up to be. They can be some of the best pets you can to care for, especially for children, and easy to care for, as long as you don't mind feeding rodents to them once a week. The fear of snakes is called ophiophobia, or herpetophobia. It's one of the most common fears worldwide, and approximately one-third of the world's inhabitants are ophiophobic. At least it's not orophobic. We all know snakes can't hear because they don't have ears, right? Wrong. Actually, they can. They may not have ears, but they can definitely hear. The vibrations go through their skin into their hidden eardrums where sound can be made. So, when you hear someone say, you're as deaf as a snake, you'll know the truth. Do they even say that? Us as humans have a good body structure, and we have 24 ribs in the average human. Snakes, on the other hand, can have up to 400 different ribs in their body. If I ate a snake right now, I'd be eating a lot of ribs. Yes, a lot of ribs. Why not replace pork ribs with, with those? Huh. Hey waiter, can I get some more snake ribs please? The word snake is from Proto-Indo-European, whatever that means. The root Sneg has the meaning to crawl, or creeping thing. This is so boring. Why do you... Uh, okay, fine. The word serpent is also a Proto-Indo-European root word. Serp, which means to crawl, or creep. I think I would use Slith for Slither. Just, just kidding. Why, why, why do you have to put this in here? Some snakes have over 200 razor sharp teeth. I wish I had that many teeth. They use them for holding their prey as they crush whatever helpless life form they have in their coils. I wonder if they'll make a drink out of that. Then they swallow it whole, like they're taking a pill. A really big pill. Too big of a pill. Are you okay? I, I don't, I don't want to have to do the Heimlich maneuver on you. Oh, wait, he's okay. Just had me scared for a moment. Anyways, they swallow stuff. While eating so they don't choke and die with a rat in their throat, they have something called a trachea, or also known as a windpipe. That way they can breathe. It looks kind of like an alien trying to get out of their mouth. There are over 5,000 known species of snake, and they are all predators. I think that you could be called an herbivorous predator. Those poor apples and broccoli getting eaten against their will. As you may know, that most snakes don't have fangs, only venomous ones do. And that is about 725 of them, but roughly only 250 are life-threatening. But for the non-venomous snakes, many of them have exceedingly long teeth, and they can pierce straight through your hand like the emerald tree boa. They have the longest teeth out of any non-venomous snake, and that stuff hurts really bad. Snakes only eat six to 30 meals a year on average in the wild. I'd be dead if I had to live like that. Seriously, I would have died a long time ago, especially because of how much I eat. 
Just keep that between us. Snakes never stop growing until they die, but they slow down drastically the older they get, and that's the same with all reptiles. I wish I could keep growing till I died. Then I could eventually reach the basketball hoop when I'm 80. Those are the top 10 facts about our legless friends. Not, not that picture, the other one. Gosh. I hope you liked the video. If so, please like and subscribe. I wish you all the best. May nature always be on your side and have a great day.